Hey guys, 8 Hits here, and today we're going to show you how to transfer Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, and Super Nintendo ROMs to your RetroPie. So here's my RetroPie, and as you can see, we've got the Sega Genesis 32X and Nintendo on here. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up our Master System, we're going to set up our Sega Genesis, and we're going to set up our Super Nintendo. So here's our favorite website, the RetroPie website, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on Docs, and we're going to click on Emulators, and again, we're going to do the Master System, the Genesis, or the Mega, Mega Drive, depending on where you're from, and the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom, again, depending on where you're from. So again, the first thing we'll look at is we will look at the Master System, or the Sega Genesis Mega Drive, we'll click on that, and it's going to tell us where to put those ROMs. So we're going to accept the ROM files, or uh, .7z, .bin, .gen, .md, .sg, .smd, and .zip. So again, if you have it in a zip, you downloaded it from, or you got it from a zip, you can go ahead and you can just copy that zip right over. And it's going to want to put in the Mega Drive folder. So Home, Pi, RetroPie, ROMs, Mega Drive. And if we look at the Master System, Again, the same thing, .7z, .bin, .sms, .zip. It's going to want us to put in the Master System folder. And last but not least is the Super Nintendo. So we'll go down to the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And again, here's the file for the ROMs, and we're going to want to put it right in the SNES folder for the ROMs. So the method I prefer to use when transferring ROMs over is WinSCP. It makes it a little bit easier, drag and drop features, so it's a little bit easier to, to kind of do it, so that's what I'm going to use here. If you don't like the WinSCP, there's another video I have here that shows you the other three ways that you can go ahead and transfer ROMs. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in here via my, web, uh, my IP address and my username, which is Pi, and my password, which is Raspberry. Again, that's the default right out of the box from Raspberry Pi. helps if you spell it right. There we go. So we're going to go to RetroPie. We're going to go to ROMs. And again, here's a list of all the, the folders that have the general emulators and starting installed on the RetroPie. So the first one we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do the... See, the Genesis has got a shortcut there for the Mega Drive. So we'll go to Mega Drive. And I'll go to the location on my computer where I have all my Genesis ROMs. And we will drag those right on over. Doesn't take too long. So we've got our Genesis transferred over, and now we're going to go ahead and do our master system. So we're going to go on the right-hand side here, which is our RetroPie. We're going to go up a folder. We want to go right into the master system folder. Left-hand side, again, my PC. We're going to go to the master drive, master system, rather. And then we're going to drag, copy, and drag them all over. I get copy and paste there by accident. It's not a way to do it, or you can just click and drag. And these games are a little bit smaller than the Genesis ones, so they should go a lot quicker. All right, there's our master system done. So now we're going to again, we're on the right-hand side. We're going to go back. We're going to go to SNES, which is the Super Nintendo. And on the left-hand side here, we're going to go to the Super Nintendo. And again, we've got different mixes in here. We've got SMCs, we've got 7-zips, we've got a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, these are going to take a while. We've got a lot of files here. And we're going to just go ahead and we're going to drag them right on over.
All right, we've got all those ROMs transferred over now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our – hit the Start button on our controller, and we're going to go down to Quit. And then we're going to Restart Emulation Station. Yep, we're going to really restart. This is just going to restart emulation station, and you can see now here's our master system. We've got a master system, we've got a Mega Drive, we've got Nintendo, which we already had, RetroPod we already had, 32X we already transferred over before as well, and our Super Nintendo. And if we go ahead and we go into any of these systems here, again, here's all of them. They're all unscraped. We haven't scraped them yet. We're going to do that in the next video. We're going to go over the auto scraper in our next video. Uh, but that is all of those transferred. Well, I hope you found that useful. Again, we've got our 32X, we've got our Super Nintendo, we've got our Master System, we've got our Genesis, and Nintendo all loaded up on our RetroPie. So we're going to go over on Auto Scrape on our next video, so that way we can don't have to sit here and keep pushing the button over and over and over again on all of those ROMs we just transferred. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, so that way you can get notified when that video comes live. And again, thanks for watching.